Today we just prayed for this wonderful uh, pastor's wife down here. Her name means volcano. Her husband's a pastor. So we, we prayed for her and so we're at the mall today. And we've been praying for people. Natalie's praying for someone over there right now. And I'll catch you up a little later. Now, what does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> it's a book of boatman. You sang it in Russian? In Russian. It's a boatman song? Yeah. Sing it again. Sorry. <laughs> I can't remember. So, think of another one. Oh, can't. That's it. That was it. That was the only one. Everything else was in Russian. Well, that was beautiful. And we used to go that to different uh, I thank assemblies. You. I was in a choir there. Uh, with the uh, the guy. Did you sing in Russian? In, well, just totally in Russian. Really? We had a concert that could do, I don't know how many octaves. Like wow. Four or five octaves. Wow. So how do you learn different octaves? Listening to other people? Well, you just sing in a different range. Oh, wow. And he, he was able to do that. from down low. Not the screaming like... Uh, wow. Yeah. Really? Like was, Mar Mariah Carey? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the way up. Well, thank you, Bill. Okay, it's, okay, so here's, here is um, what we've been describing to you people when we did a little lesson. And now we're going to show you how we applied it. Uh, Natalie's going to give a small summation of how today she led someone to the Lord. What was the first thing you did with this person? Well, I just went over and I introduced myself. And, a little loud. Um, I introduced myself and I told her my name and I just told her that me and a couple friends come here on Friday and we... Um, pray for people and I asked her if she needed prayer for anything and she actually said no I really don't need prayer for anything I'm here I'm getting my nail appointment at two o'clock and I said well okay I said is everything okay for you in your life is there anybody you know in your family that may need prayer and she thought about it and she said yes she said my, my niece she said my niece is on medication she's not been really doing very well and she I would like prayer for my niece and I said okay I said can we pray now so she said yes so we prayed for her niece we prayed for healing um, she was on medication so we prayed for her and and then after that um, she was very grateful and she said thank you very kind very sweet and then she spoke she spoke Spanish and I asked her I said do you have a Bible I said do you read your Bible and um, she kind of was like yeah I said, well, I have a Spanish Bible. Would you like one? And she said, yeah, you do. You have a Spanish Bible. And I said, yeah. I said, would you like one? And I said, it's only the New Testament. But yeah, I do. So I gave her that. And um, then I asked her, I said, have you accepted Jesus in your heart? And so she just kind of looked at me a little bit like she knew Jesus, but maybe she hadn't accepted Jesus in her heart. And I said, would you like to right now? And she said, yeah. And so I said, well, you just, I said, just say this after me. And so I just say, said, Lord, forgive me for all of my sins. And so she said that. And I said, Lord, I give my heart to you today. I receive you and I will live for you forever. Um, and she repeated that. And I said, do you believe that Jesus, I said, Jesus, um, Jesus died for you, and I said he rose from the dead, and um, I don't even remember because the Holy Spirit was flowing through me, to be honest with you, so I'm like struggling right now because I can't even recreate what he said in me, through me, so, but he, she accepted Jesus, and, and that's the thing, it doesn't matter the words, the, but honestly, just commit your sins, accept Jesus in your heart, 
believe that he died, he rose from the dead, and you're going to live for him. Amen. And that's it. And she accepted him. And that was. And that was it. That and was she it. just, you know, you could just see a difference in her, and she was happy. And because of the ba the barrier, um, I do have a little card of salvation that's in Spanish, and I didn't want to leave anything for misunderstanding. So I said, here, take this, and there's scriptures on the back. So she was able to take that with her, and so um, she can read that and read the scriptures on the back in her new Bible. And then we just chatted a little bit, and then I walked away. But then I felt like the Lord sent me back to her. And I went back, and I asked if I could get a picture with her. And then she asked me, what church do you go to? And I told her what church I went to, and I asked her if she had a church home. She said that she did, but I could just tell she wasn't at home in her church. She had a church, but it wasn't at home. And I said, you're not, you're not comfortable with your church right now. You're looking. She said, yeah, I am. So I gave her a church card. I gave her my own personal business card. I told her, if you would like to come and visit, I would love to meet you there in the lobby. And she took the card. She took both of them, and she said she'd be in touch sometime. So... Yeah, thank you. Um, Natalie, thank you for sharing that with us because we need to know exactly the process. And so first you did common call, empathy, I heard empathy, interest. Interest and caring is extremely important. Then you got into uh, a spiritual question, questions. And she seemed interested, and it went on from there to where you just then presented the gospel. What the gospel? So, thank you, Natalie. And that's it for today, folks. I hope you learned something, and I hope you join us next week. God bless you guys. See, it was easy. <laughs> <laughs>